subscribers. Thank you for all your kind messages, your support. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you've been taking care of yourself as well during this uh, eclipse season. It's been quite heavy, hasn't it? So a lot of self-care is needed during this time. All right, so we're going to start with, uh, so this is for the air sign. So yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we'll start with Libra. And it will be time stamped in the description box below. Remember to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. So let's have a look. So we're going to start with Libra in the next couple of weeks. Let's see. we got conclusions are within reach. That is a full moon eclipse. We just had it. Okay. Whew. Okay, what deck do I want to use? I want to use this one. Oh, Lord, Libra. All right. So things are coming to a head. We've got a King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We've got Ten of Cups. And we've got Nine of Pentacles. I think someone just really feels like you're really, they're really happy when they're with you. <laughs> you know, even when it's just like the two of you. Yeah, see, like, when you guys just sort of hang out, you know, you've got a really cool, like, connection, bond with each other. This person also is very prideful, though. Yeah, we've got justice. We've got Libra energy here as well. It's either this person feels like they deserve justice or they feel like you do. So they're having to make a decision, yeah, because with this Nine of Pentacles and then the death, it's like you had to end things here with this person. But it's like this person just wants to go back in time with you. They want, like, it's almost like if they could, what, could rewind the past, like, and do it again, do it differently, they would do that. But we've got the Sun here, we've got the Five of Pentacles again. You know, this person just wants to kind of go back to good times with you, but you feel really stuck in this situation. And you feel like it's best that you just kind of leave things alone. But with this two of cups here, it's like this soulmate, twin flame sort of type of connection. All right, so this person's just approaching slowly and approaching with caution. Yeah, we've got eight of pentacles. I think this person's trying to figure out if, if there's a possibility to rebuild this connection. Okay, so that's kind of like why they're pausing and waiting. All right. But yeah, like with this devil energy here, it's almost like they, they're about to lose their mind. Like they can't fully just sort of let you go. This person watches you a lot. But, you know, you also kind of feel like you don't trust them, like they're a master of illusion. So you're a little bit like, um, I don't trust you. Yeah, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So you've just cut this person out. You're like, I'm not investing in them anymore. Yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like you didn't really get the communication you wanted from them anyway. So you just went on and did your own thing and found your own happiness. So I feel like you guys are definitely birthing a project or a business of some kind. And you're going to be receiving some good news about that as well. All right, so it's all Leo energy there. Yep. Yeah. Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. All right, Libra. We've got expectation. Bad health. Yeah, maybe you felt like, you know, they couldn't live up to your expectations or vice versa. And you just kind of moved on from that. I feel like you've gone through a period of like mourning this person and healing for yourself. And now you're like moving on. Okay, you're working on your gifts, your hobbies, your talents, your passions more. All right. And then you're going to kind of hear from them. So I feel like the tables have probably turned and they're the ones feeling depressed and sad. So I feel like this person will reach out and message you at some point. But you have a new beginning here. Yeah, you've got sudden wealth. You've got money coming in. So there's like an ending to your old life and a beginning of a new one, all right? You're no longer going to feel imprisoned to this person. Yeah, we've got great fortune here, all right? Or your current job or whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah, we've got occupation. You're not really letting anybody steal your time and you're just letting your dreams take you wherever they may, okay? So this is nice. You're going to be really focused on 
you over the next few weeks as well. All right, Libra. You've got abundance, you've got ask for help from others, and you've got take action. All right, Libra, so you'll know when. Just go for it. All right, oh, let me read you. Where's your heart message? Just get you a little love message for yourself. Some of you as well, I'm hearing something about your eyes. You need to protect your eyes. Or go and get an eye checkup, something. Something's bothering you with your eye. Yeah, we've got time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. And we got freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So this is All right. I hope you enjoyed that reading, Libra. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay. All right. Um, hit the notification bell as well. All right, so next we're going to move on to Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So this is going to be your next couple of weeks. Okay. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please. So let's have a look. Oh, Gemini. Let's see. We've got a time for healing. Okay. So yeah, maybe you're just able to kind of just go, you know. <laughs> Maybe you've kind of really gone through it recently, Gemini, and, you know, now it's just like making yourself feel good, taking that time, you know, to make sure that you really are healing this situation. All right, really um, getting strong guidance that you're going to be receiving a lot of guidance from your ancestors. So I feel like there's spiritual things that you're going to be getting involved with that are new to you as well, Gemini, and they're saying it's okay, it's your spirit guides, it's your ancestors. All right, this is part of your healing. This is maybe how your ancestral lineage healed, okay? So they're just saying, don't fight it. All right, you are protected, loved, and safe, okay? All right, Gemini. We've got five of swords, nine of cups, the sun, six of wands, justice, strength. Yeah, I really think some of you guys, you know, you've had to really fight, fight for something in your last relationship, you know, or fight to kind of get that type of justice or that, that apology or that recognition or the, the fact that someone did something to you, you know, and you wasn't able to kind of get that justice for yourself, you know, so you've kind of maybe had to leave a situation, be in your nine of cups energy, like still stay, you know, manifesting miracles you know, because I also feel like you guys are quite optimistic as well about, you know, your dreams and things like that. You know, so they're saying just focus on that. Okay. They won't really want you to protect yourself as well. Especially when you're out drinking, things like that. Okay. But they're just saying here, don't be so um, worried about, you know, what has been lost with this person or a few people even. All right, because there are better days are coming, all right? There's definitely like some public recognition here for you as well, Gemini. All right, and, and, then, and I also feel like there is someone that's a bit angry. Yeah, a bit angry. And it's almost like they don't even have a right to, you know? But, oh, okay. Yeah, we've got this King of Wands, this Aries Leo Sag energy. You know, who always wants to be right, who doesn't want to admit when they're wrong. They, that's what I'm saying about them not wanting to give you that justice. But look, you've blocked them out, okay? And that's they just watch you from a distance, okay? Because they can't come anywhere near you. But you got the strength twice. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like you've really had to get over a lot in a short space of time, okay? So you're a bit worried. You're like, you know, have I got any more strength left? They're like, yep, because better days are coming. Yeah, we've got the hangman. So you've just been in this poor situation, all right, but you're releasing this guilt, okay, this regret. Anything you've been holding on to with this person, you are releasing it. It does not belong to you anymore. All right, and we also got this King of Pentacles here as well. All right, and I feel like there's some type of spark or communication from this person. They're going to be reaching out to you. 
Yeah, because they see you as the Empress. Okay, Gemini. Got two of Pentacles. We've got King of Swords. That's that Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So yeah, I really think, and you come out as the Queen of Wands. So I definitely think over the next couple of weeks, you know, you're going to have these masculines, all right, really trying to get your attention. A couple of them are seeing you as the Two of Cups, but it just might be a little bit too little too late. You're already on your chariot and you're already kind of moving on. And you see that light behind you? It's just, it's so, I don't know, I just feel like galactic right now, okay? You are up there in the sky and they're just pushing you along, okay, to your next galaxy, to your next world. And you are in full control, like you are taking the reins of this yourself, you know? Okay, so we got, we got Libra, uh, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. All right, Gemini. So you will be coming, you know, into a nice space of healing, a bit more joy and happiness around you, good news coming in. You get your optimistic self back. All right, Gemini. Yeah, see that high honor. And that's the thing. You probably could have retaliated and got revenge or whatever, but you didn't, okay? You just kept it moving and was like, you know what? I'm going to focus on myself. Still keep elevating me. I'm not going to let this throw me off, right? And there we go. That's why you are the privileged lady. We've got distant horizons. So great things are happening for you. Great fortune, look at that, okay? Just keep looking forward. You've got message of concern here. Because I feel like someone's trying to drag you down to the gutter. You've got expectation, you got it from this main male. You've got this wealthy man here as well. So remember what I was saying to you, that's, oh, and the message, so both of them. So there are a couple of them that are seeing the light in this connection, yeah. I feel like you might even live close to a couple of them or they're just in your community. All right, but I definitely think a lot of people, you know, really adore you, respect you, love you. They feel like you have this great gift or this way about you. And this person's concerned that other people are going to see that in you as well. So they don't want you to kind of like get too far away from them. All right, Gemini. Oh, oh, we've got get more information. And we've got choose a new direction, okay? And I, But like I said, I, I think you're going to be kind of feeling that way with these people anyway and just focusing on your happiness, things that bring you joy, your work, being successful in that, not trying to feed into any of these energies here. Because I think, I feel like you know a lot of these energies are driven by ego, you know? <clears throat> Let's give you a heart message. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And we've got, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And then we've got, let there be closeness between you, but also give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So you might just be letting things be what it's gonna be, okay? All right, but, you know, in the meantime, just heal, be good to yourself, love on you, be around people that make you feel good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you lots. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Aquarius. So this is going to be your next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, Aquarius. So let's see. What we have for you, we got, oh, a fiery climax approaches. And that is a, a full moon in Aries. All this full moon energy going around. All right, Aquarius, let's have a look. Oh, we got this devil energy here. And we got ace of wands. We got four of wands <laughs> and we got the star 
Mm, I kind of... Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Four of Cups. Yeah, I don't know if someone's feeling like they've kind of messed up something. Six of Swords. I don't know if it's that they feel that they've messed up an opportunity to be with you or to take things further with you. Okay, maybe they kind of came across like it was all about the bedroom stuff. All right, but this person's really thinking about reaching out and wanting more. Okay, but I don't know. It's the way they do it as well. They're not... Can I explain it? It's almost like the fact that they're calling you again, you should just be happy, you know? Like, you know, it's always, this person has the attitude of like, I could have anyone, you know? I can have models, I can have, you know, it's that kind of thing. So it's like, be grateful. You're like, bye. <laughs> All right, but they do feel guilty. They do feel sad. They do see you as a star. They do see that you are beautiful inside and out. All right, and they feel bad at the way that they didn't kind of treat you. Or when you were sort of leaving, you maybe you explained this because of the way they made you feel and they didn't do anything about it. You know, so it kind of hurt you a little bit. But that spark of the bedroom activity is coming together. And I think this person does want to work out how they can build with you. But we've got this Ten of Swords here. And we got this two of cups. So yeah, maybe they feel like you just cut them off or, or they even did that to you, but hey. All right, they're recognizing this is a soulmate and we got the world. So they really do want a new beginning with you. Yeah, we got the strength card here. So yeah, they're really having to put their pride to the side. You know, this is a lot for them. <laughs> yeah, we got 10 of pentacles. Because I feel like they are quite shallow, you know, they are about their money and things like that. But I think, you know, maybe they're always looking for the, the best thing out there, the next best thing. You know, it's that kind of energy. But they've realized that, like, you're actually everything. So they're going to be communicating that with you. I feel like they're just going to, yeah, like I said, pull down that pride, pull down that ego. Look, get that devil out of them. Get the devil out of them. Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But yeah, there is, there's just a lot of fear because this person doesn't want to be rejected either, okay? They've got issues with being rejected and stuff like that. So they don't want that, you know? They're scared. We've got eight of pentacles here as well. We've got nine of pentacles. So yeah, you guys are just single. You're happy. You're building a good life. You're building your money. You're building your business. You're building your career. All right. Maybe partying a bit too hard on the weekends. Don't we all? <laughs> but we got judgment. So yeah, there's definitely a decision that you need to make. All right. And I also feel like there's someone else here coming out to give you some advice. Okay. So this is probably another feminine in your life. Someone that you can trust. Someone that's going to give you some emotional support. Or they could be asking you for that. Okay. Vice versa. All right. So we've got Capricorn. We've got Aquarius. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. <laughs> okay. Aquarius. Yeah, we got official person. Change. <laughs> they about to pull up. Yeah, journey. And child, this is a new beginning. This is a new start, you know. And it's like, I don't want to be a player no more. And if they want to, if, you know, if they were going to try with someone, they really do want to try with you. I feel like this person feels like you're home when you're with them. Yeah, family room. You guys just, you know, make each other feel safe. You make each other feel like home. Yeah, look at that community. There's even people around you that would support this or support you with this person. Because maybe they like them, you know, they're still liked. <laughs> but we got false person here. So I really feel like there's someone here that is also needing to speak to you about something, okay? You don't trust them. All right, but it's coming up. And I felt like there was another energy here in this reading watching you as well, okay? Waiting to say something to you. Waiting for this opportunity to speak. All right, but you just stay hard at work, please. My lovely Aquarius.
We have forgiveness. Yeah. You're going to need to forgive this person, right? Maybe a few others. Maybe you ain't going in you. Either way, there's a fiery climax approaching. But I, I, I think you guys are going to get it on, personally. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, ooh. We've got look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Because you screwed. Because you know you got this ex watching you. But that's not worrying you. It's just... Probably what that ex did to you. We've got only time will tell. Oh, this is so cute, Aquarius. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. This is cute. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you so much. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.